I probably look at uh, fintech as as a domain which is seeing a lot of interesting ideas. The payment space itself is very crowded, so I think uh, people who simplify the payment space for for merchants and consumers will probably end up winning the winning the war. Uh, so that's one aspect of fintech. The other aspect is more along the lines of banking and financial technology itself, blockchain, Bitcoin. Uh, those sectors are very interesting and are poised to bring about a huge change across the world. So, so that's fintech is an ex is an area that I'm I'm very personally interested in as well. Uh, healthcare and education tech are are sim are uh, picking up pace as well. I think I think if you look at if you look at the and Practo is probably an example, right? Uh, healthcare hasn't really changed for the past 20, 30 years and try to simplify the process for everybody, right? Why, why can't we make healthcare quicker? more accessible, more affordable. Uh, these are kind of the themes along which, and, and learn, collectively learn from the data of millions of people who have gone under treatment and have to, 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 to take preventive measures, right? So, so, so that's a theme that's emerging as well. I think there's a lot of areas there. Education tech, I think, uh, historically, uh, India, India has, hasn't been the, I'd say, the forerunner in, in education in the world, I think that's those are kind of some of the problems that people are trying to solve as well by trying to make education more accessible, more relevant. I think I think uh, we, in a sense, there's there's a lot of it, even our uh, most most premier institutions have sometimes lost focus on what the trends are currently, and 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 anybody who caters to the segment of people who want to learn more about something more specific, it's almost like. Uh, it's almost like domain-specific knowledge being disbursed, uh, being 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 uh, administered to people who choose to access it, and not so much as knowledge which is thrusted upon them because of the institute they've gone to. Right. So, so democratizing education, for example, some, uh, that's an interesting space that we look at as well. Is that we look at as well? Is that we look at as well? Is that we look at as well? Is that we? Well, we've already started seeing some consolidation happening. Uh, I think what's happened is that uh, early stage investors have increased in number quite a bit and late stage investors have remained the same. So there's there's a big funnel that's kind of opened up at the top with a very small filter at the bottom, right? So uh, we're seeing a lot of companies come up and they don't really survive the first hurdle, which is getting to the series A or B. Uh, hurdles beyond that is where we see a lot of consolidation at the B and C and D level because uh, I guess what's happened is a lot of public market investors have come in and have realized that exits are few and far between in the venture space, so they're not really uh, providing the market with that much liquidity, which is why it's... But, but uh, like all industries, it's cyclical, so you expect that there'll be a round of consolidation and then when, when, when exits start materializing, uh, people will like they'll have renewed faith in the venture space again so you'll, you you'll see that it's, it's natural for every industry it's cyclical uh, it's bound to go through its uh, crest and troughs so i think it's it's i would think it's just a phase what's the the good thing that's happened with uh, companies like flipkart and snapdeal which have started uh, ola which have come out of india is that they've really put the venture space into focus for a lot of young entrepreneurs and we're seeing that entrepreneurship has become very acceptable in the economy now no longer do people l corporates look down upon uh, upon em upon potential employees who have startup experience it's not a taboo anymore so in general it's great for for india as a whole right so so i don't see anything negative out of this consolidation is uh, good for the industry and the exits will be great for the industry as well but uh, overall it's an upward trajectory so i'm very happy about that